Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new Christmassy video. This video has been a very, like, it's been requested a lot, this video basically, that's what I'm trying to say. This video is always requested when I put a little box on my stories and ask for video ideas. This video is a firm favourite that people want to see filmed, so I thought that I would film it and do a Christmas edition of it. So it's going to be a house tour, but a downstairs house tour, because I'm not ready to show you the upstairs just yet, but it's going to be a downstairs house tour of all the rooms in our downstairs, and it's going to be a festive edition as well, because it is Christmas. So that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. I'm going to start outside the front door, walk in, show you all the rooms, and hopefully it gives people a bit of inspiration. I don't know how to style like different rooms. I don't know, in case you're interested, here's a house tour and I hope you enjoy watching. Before I do the house tour, I did just want to talk to you about something that I'm very excited for. So on the engagement party slash Christmas party, but it's more so engagement party. On that night, I'm actually going to ask my bridesmaids and my maid of honor to be my bridesmaids and maid of honor for my wedding. And also my flower girls and my little page boy and groomsmen as well, like my nieces and nephews. I'm going ask them to be those roles as well and I've got like things to give them from different small businesses and like things that I found on Etsy and I'm so excited to ask them on the night I just think it'll be really magical and special and yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I'm actually going to pop in their bags as little presents and things just in case you're a bride-to-be or in the future you're like thinking of ideas on how to ask your bridesmaids. I just got loads of this from Etsy to be honest. So yeah, I'll just show you all the things that I'm going to give them. I'm just sat on the stairs. Different position every video, isn't it? Normally I'm sat on my couch, but past few videos have been on the floor, I've been in front of doors and now I'm on the stairs. <laughs> so for my four main adult bridesmaids, I'm having my two best friends, Mel and Imo, and then I'm having my sister-in-law, Laura, and then I'm having my sister as my maid of honor so I'm so excited. So I've got them these bags to pop their goodies in and they're just like plain white bags with their name on in gold. I just think they are dead cute and just match the white and gold theme that's going to be at the engagement party as well. So everything's going to match together which is perfect. So I've got those bags and then inside the bags I'm going to pop one of these cards in. Again, these are personalised too. Etsy is just my go-to, honestly, with any gift or anything that I need. And a personalised one as well, Etsy is just my go-to. So these have their names on. So this one is obviously my sister. It says, Danny, will you be my maid of honour? By the way, I'll have already asked them when this video is live, so don't feel like I'm just ruining the surprise for everyone. So they already know by this point. And then there's bridesmaids ones as well. So this is Laura, will you be my bridesmaid? And again, everything matches, white and gold, love it. So yeah, they're dead cute, I'm gonna pop those in as well. And then also one of my favorite like home fragrance businesses, Create Calm Home, has kindly collaborated with me on one of the gifts. And these are honestly amazing. I'm, I don't even know if she's stocked them yet, but like she's, because of this, she's now making a range for bridesmaids and maids of honours and things. So just look at these candles. So it's a gorgeous amber glass candle, which is all of our favourites. The scent is my favourite scent from Create Calm Home by the beach. And it smells just like White Company Seychelles. The girls are going to love these. If you love Seychelles, and I mean who doesn't love Seychelles, you will love this. It smells so good. But then the best part is a cute little label. Let me see if it will focus. It says, will you be my bridesmaid? And then there's, oh, are we going to focus again? There we go. There's another one that says, will you be my maid of honor, which I'll give to my sister. But how cute is that? Like what a cute little touch. And they'll be actually able to use it as well and light it. Oh, it smells amazing. Smells just like Seychelles, honestly, but yeah, I really hope they like those candles. I'm sure they will because I know that everyone loves Seychelles. All my friends and my sister and Laura love Seychelles, so hopefully they like this candle and I just think it's dead cute that it's got the cute little personalised label on the front. Yeah, make sure you go and follow Create Calm Home over on Instagram. I always use her candles and her wax melts. They're so strong, but like smell so amazing as well. And I just love the aesthetic, like amber glass just looks good with any decor style and what a cute gift as well, the cute personalised label. So yeah, big fans of these. And then I've also got these adorable white clutches. So these are honestly just so cute and they have a gold label at the bottom with 
my friend's and family's name on and these are just perfect like you could use them as a little clutch bag if you've got like a white vibe going on on a night out you can use them as a travel clutch bag so I just thought they had so many uses and who doesn't love anything personalized I just love anything with my name on don't know why I just just think it adds to the I don't know pizzazz of the gift if it's got your name on it so I thought they were super cute and these were from a brand called Blush Bell Boutique and I know that she's really popular she does tons of like personalized things like personalized Prosecco glasses and clutch bags and all sorts of things so you need to go and check her out I'll leave everybody's links down below so you can go and check them out for yourself in case you want to treat your friends or family to anything like this but I just think they're going to be so cute all in the bag together I think they're going to absolutely love them that's everything that's going in my adult bridesmaid bags I just know they're gonna love them there's so many cute things in there and then I also got some little things for my flower girls and my page boy and my groomsmen so let me show you those one of my nephews is in like year seven now so I didn't want to get like a toy or anything but I did just get this little card from Etsy it says Finn will you be my groomsman and it looks a little bit like him actually on the front and then I just thought that I would go down the food option and I've just gotten these little biscuits it's like um, a little suit and then a biscuit that says Finn will you be my groomsman so I thought that's cute and he'll appreciate that because he likes eating cookies and sweet things so that's what I've got for Finn and then my other little nephew Sebi he's a little bit younger he's three so I've got him a little card as well just as a little keepsake say Sebi will you be our page boy and then for Sebi this is actually dead cute I've got him a little dinosaur toy that says Sebi on the front and then this little tag says will you be our page boy so I thought that was really cute I love wooden toys anyway it'll match Danny's house really nicely nice and neutral so yeah I just thought that was quite cute for Sebi as like a younger page boy present and then for my two nieces I've gone for these cute cards Sophia and Orla will you be our flower girl it actually says a bride needs her niece on her wedding day will you be my flower girl so I just thought that was such a cute little quote and to go with those little cards I've got them one of these peg dolls they love playing with stuff like this anyway and I just thought these were adorable it's a little peg doll with flowers and then it says flower girl on the front how cute is that so I got one for Sophia and one for Orla so that's all the gifts that I'm going to give to my family and friends on the party I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm going to pop in the bags and now we can get started with the house tour Okay, so as you walk in the front door, this is our hallway. So I'm just shutting the front door. So this is kind of what we fell in love with really when we went to view the house, how big the hallway was. I just love that you can just walk in and you've got all the space and I've just shut all the doors for like the next part of the tour. But yeah, this is our hallway. So turn to your right and you've got the stairs. The panelling that we did, was it? Last year now, the panelling is painted in Cornforth white by Farrow and Ball and my dad did, did this lovely panelling. We also have a window there looking out, we really like that feature on the stairs as well. And then we've got our Christmas tree from Christmas Direct and I love all the baubles on here. I've gone for some really cute white company ones, I've got a white company star there and then these ones were from Christmas Direct too as well as these lovely little Neptune dupes, these pine cones and the acorns and then mixed with the White Company ceramic decorations as well. These ones were from Christmas Direct too. So many cute things. And then I saw one of my Insta friends, Hoops and Home, have this for one of her mini Christmas trees. I got mine from Dunelm and I love it so much. I feel like it's very, very White Company vibes, like the jute effect. I just think it's gorgeous. So I've just got the Christmas tree in that and I think it looks really nice on the stairs. My stair basket is from the Basket Company, of course. And then this is my attempt of trying to hide the wire to plug in the Christmas tree. I don't think I've done too bad a job, to be honest, but you can't make wires disappear so I think I've done an alright job and then we've got some under the stair storage there this light up garland is also from Christmas Direct I think it's so pretty we've just attached it with ribbon and then I've popped some few extra bits in there so I've got these white berries and like mistletoe stems I think they're from With Love Abigail and then I've added my rustic garland from Oh So Kel love these wooden stars so I've just added a little bit of extra detail to it and I love how it looks and then these gold bells are also so from Christmas Direct, I've just got two hanging there. Got my Hoops and Home wreath 
down there on the handle love that for autumn and winter time and then you've all seen this view before this is our hallway console table that my dad actually made for me how amazing is that because as you can see this gap is like quite an odd space like just like a very smallish gap and I wanted a table there because it would just look so bare without one and I just couldn't find one that, that was the right size like it was either too big or too small or not tall enough so my dad made us one isn't that amazing and uh, I literally can't believe that he made it and he's painted it in Neptune paint silver birch by Neptune and it just is the perfect fit for this space I always get questions asking where it's from and I'm like sorry my dad made it and then I've just got some lovely Christmassy accessories on the top my Neptune Christmas trees this little house was from with love Abigail but the batteries have gone now but I just like how it looks anyway Neptune candle and then this is my Neptune vase and inside is this gorgeous winter a bouquet that I shared recently from Homely Barn Interiors. How stunning and wild does it look? And then I've just got my Neptune basket underneath there. My gorgeous white company dupe star from B&M. Love this. And then inside here is the downstairs bathroom. So I'll just give you a sneak peek of what it looks like at the minute. <gasps> How exciting! So Oh, I just, I can't wait for this to be finished. We've done the panelling, this gorgeous unit from Bathroom Mountain. I just love it, look at the tap. So nice. So yeah, obviously the panelling needs to be painted, the shelves need to be painted and styled up. All of this needs sorting, so stay tuned for the grand reveal. And then this is what it looks like from the other side. So this is our front door, absolutely stunning wreath from Home Pieces looks so realistic. I love these little pine cones and the frosted branches. Absolutely beautiful. So I've got that on the inside of my door. An umbrella basket and just like a very dirty doormat. Bit of reality there. And then on this side is our mirror that was from the range. We've had this for ages now. And then, would you believe it that my dad actually made this bench for us as well? Because again, a bit of an awkward space behind the door, couldn't find anything that was the right height or the right width. So my dad made us this gorgeous bench and it's painted in the same colour, Silver Birch by Neptune. And this was actually unused blinds from Blinds To Go that we didn't use when we did our order. So he just made use of that, added a bit of cushion and voila, a gorgeous hallway bench. I always get questions about where this is from as well. So yeah, honestly, amazing. It's so good to have Superman as my dad, honestly. <laughs> and then as you can see, there's the four doors. So that's the downstairs bathroom. In here is the kitchen, in there is the living room. And then this was the integral door to our garage. But obviously lots of you know, we've done the garage reno and it's now our laundry room. So that's just the door for in there. I am, I would ideally like to swap this door out for a door with a window in so that we can see inside the laundry room because I just love it so much and it's just such a shame that it's just like in that door because it's not really a door that you can just prop open like these ones because it's a fire door so in the future I am thinking that I'm going to swap out the door and put a fire door on the other side of the room and have this one as like a fancier door with like a window so I can see in and then we can see Bonnie as well. <laughs> I've just adjusted the camera settings a bit so you can see our gorgeous light as well. This light is the same light that mum and dad had in their hallway and I copied because I just think it just looks so luxurious but it's just like nice and simple. Not It doesn't like hang down too, too low or anything. Just nice clear crystals and I just think it looks really fancy and just matches all the neutral decor really well. So that is our light. It was from Amazon. I'll try and find the link but... I don't know, it was a while ago, but I'll try and find I'll try and find it somewhere. So here is our kitchen, our nice small cozy kitchen. I feel like on Instagram, like I always feel like people always think pe other people's houses are much bigger than they are, but not ours. Our kitchen is literally super tiny, but sorry, that's just Jake, he's just got in, he's just going to see Bonnie. Yeah, our kitchen is very tiny, but there's just the two of us at the minute. But I feel like even when we've got kids though, like there's, there's still space. And I guess size doesn't matter, it's just how you decorate it. So here is our lovely kitchen. I love styling this up and obviously now it's all festive. So as you can see, we've gone for grey shaker style cupboards, which I love. I would like to change these handles at some point, but not a priority. And then we've gone for just a nice white, worktop this is called Alaska 
for anyone who's interested. And then we've just got our cupboards, oven, cupboard, toaster over there that I never show, I never show this side of the kitchen on Instagram, my advent calendar. And then we've got a microwave built in because like where on earth would we put a microwave in this kitchen? So we decided to get a built-in one. There's our oven and then fridge, freezer and there's our pulley out cupboard. So yeah, really, really tiny kitchen, but still very pretty nevertheless. Let me see if the lighting's a bit better. There we go, I feel like that lighting might be a little bit better. So on this side, here is our dining room table. It does extend and we do have an extra two chairs upstairs for when we've got like our mums and dads round, like my mum and dad and Jake's mum and dad. Um, or like any guests or anything or if we've got a pass and we want like a bigger table it does extend but this is the smaller version and it's from Furniture Village and I just thought it was nice and neutral matches the greys really nicely can't go wrong with a neutral vibe the table runner is from Altami Home and then I've just got a little bit of festive styling going on this is my gorgeous kitchen shelf that I love so much and you've guessed it my dad made this shelf as well how incredible. It's painted in ammonite by Farrow and Ball and then these pegs were just from eBay, dead cheap. And then I've just started up with some gorgeous festive pretties. Lots you'll have seen on my Instagram but I'll just quickly run through. So we've got Neptune, B&M, Ginny Rose Home, Home Pieces, B&M again. That's Neptune, those stars are from Just So Interiors. My hanging basket is from Duck's Nest Interiors. Neptune, not sure where the foliage is from, and then the wooden tree is from Sainsbury's. And then this little space I post all the time on Instagram. So I've just got my Neptune jug there with my utensils in, and then my Neptune like basket tray here from the Ashcraft collection. These salt and pepper shakers are from White Barn Home and I normally just change this accessory depending on the season so this time I've gone for the baby Neptune tree. And then I've just got my two chopping boards that hide the ugly switches that the kitchen people decided to put in. I'm only joking, I know we need to have switches but they are pretty ugly. So the wooden one is from Nakuku and then this marble one is from Home Sense. My coaster here that I always have out is from Encore Home it's with a pussy willow wreath and then Here's another one of those Ginny Rose Home mini Christmas trees. We've got a Breville kettle that I would like to change to a Smeg one because I just think they look a little bit nicer but this one is just ideal for now and matches perfectly. And then going for a Neptune but more of affordable Neptune look, here are my jars from Ikea and I've got flour in that one and oats in the other one. They are literally years old now, I would not want to try like bake with that flour or the oats or anything they're probably awful and then the wooden scoops are from amazon white company candle here i love our white sink it says range master i always get questions about this white sink as well and yeah don't get me wrong it is risky having a white sink because things do stain but nothing that the pink stuff can't get out and i just I really love a white sink with white worktops much better than a chrome sink in my opinion it just like flows better and yeah I'm just so happy that that we decided to get the white worktops with the white sink and then I always get questions about this as well so this little wooden thing is literally just from TK Maxx it was about six quid and I just saw it on like the off chance and grabbed it and I've just got my bottles on there my hand soap and dish soap and Zaflora and a little William Morris soap these amber glass bottles are all from paper and ink I absolutely love paper and ink and Cash's shop so definitely go and check out her lovely small business as well. I've got some more Christmas styling going on over here. These beautiful lambs here are from a small business called Tabitha Lily Home that I got last year and then these pine cone stems are from With Love Abigail. I've got an Ikea hurricane lantern here with a Neptune candle inside. And then probably my favourite thing in the kitchen at the minute is my gorgeous Christmassy snowy village scene. Oh I love it. So most of these in fact, yeah, pretty much everything here is from Hobbycraft, except the angel. The angel is from Neptune, the garland is from Olive and Wood Interiors, but last year they don't sell it anymore, unfortunately, because it is such a gorgeous one. I'm so glad that I got it last year, but yeah, everything else is from Hobbycraft, like these little cone trees and all the other white ceramic tea light houses. I just think that looks so Christmassy and cosy and... Because, like I said, our kitchen is small and so I can't really have big extravagant displays or anything in here, but I think this is so delicate and dainty and very 
Christmassy and festive at the same time. I just think it is perfect for our kitchen windowsill. And then our blind is a Roman blind in the colour Linen, Linen Biscotti from Blinds To Go. We've also got a little wine fridge here that I love. This was actually a gap for a washing machine, but we knew that we wanted to put our washing machine and dryer in the laundry room, so we decided to get a wine fridge, and honestly, it's the best thing ever. So yeah, that is our little kitchen. I feel like people are gonna think it's way smaller than what you originally thought looking on Instagram I don't know but it's perfect for us I love it it's our first home and yeah we love it <laughs> so this is our living room festive edition with a special appearance from Bonnie as well we keep that poof there that poof doesn't really match like the room very well but we keep it there because she jumps on the poof and then onto the couch she's just learned how to jump onto the couch so we keep that there so I always get a lot of questions about our couches so our couches are from Next so we were going to get the Gosford couches from Next which basically means like this quilted bit that went all the way around but I wanted like to rest my head like up against something at night like just get all cozy and then we saw that they did this range which is the Gosford high back which has the lovely buttoned like nice arms and the high back cushions so we just thought perfect so we got those couches from next we got I think this one was the medium and this one was the small and we got them in the fabric and shade Tweedy Blend light silver and they're just like a perfect match with neutrals we've also got a little side table on this side and the other side but the other side I'm not going to show you because it's a little bit of a dump ground at the minute but over here I've just got a lovely Christmassy bouquet got my Neptune vase there's my candle from Asda with the cute gingerbread man on the front and a Neptune tree and then for my cushions I love these green ones and then I've just got these ones from Alter Me Home in front and then I've got my William Morris print on the wall there love that and then on this side we've got the lamp which we pop on at night to feel all snug and cozy my ladder from Holy Barn Interiors with a blanket draped over and then these mirrors I always get questions about about these. These mirrors were from Dunelm. I think they were like 30 quid each, really, really cheap, but they were like a really bright yellow cream colour when we got them. So we painted them in Ammonite by Farrow and Ball and they just match much better now. As you can see, Bonnie keeps hopping around. So this is our TV unit. Love this TV unit. It's from the Cotswold Company and it's the shade Chester Dove Grey. I think it's the extra, extra wide one. And then I've just styled it up with a few festive bits. Bonnie, literally just this week, has just found a new obsession with jumping on the couch. I'll just go through everything very quickly. So that basket there is from the Basket Company. Then I've got my gorgeous LED candles that are from Home Pieces. Don't they look like real candles? And then I've got my cute little mouse from the range, some Neptune trees, my neon pod, which is burning, White Company Fireside, my favourite. Then I've got some little like decorative bits down here. So we've got these baskets were from Etsy, White Company Bowl, little Swarovski reindeer that Jake got me one year I'm not sure where that little cute mouse is from my mum got it me one year and then I've got my Neptune coasters and then a ceramic star from Just So Interiors and then over this side I've got my Neptune tea light house and my white company fireside candle, it's like fireside overload in this room and I love it and then that little black candle plate is also from the white company as is that white company book which a lovely subscriber actually sent me which is so nice of them and then moving on to this gorgeous new table which is all also from the Cotswold Company, I absolutely love it, it matches so nicely in that little corner and on top I've got my olive and wood bars, my olive and wood berries, I just love how they look, so festive but I feel like I could even keep them out in like January, February time as well because they're not very like, they're not just for Christmas, I feel like they're just very wintry so I love those. That's my little LED tree from Asda. I absolutely love that and then my candle holder it's like green it you can see it better at night <laughs> you can see it better at night when it's like dark it's got little speckles in and the light shines through that's from Neptune and then of course our gorgeous tree you'll have all seen this on the decorate the tree video if you watch that one by the way ignore that and that that is a lid of a box to stop Barney going through the wires like getting through to the wires and chewing them because if she true if she chewed through this Christmas tree and stopped the lights working I would honestly be devastated and then those are bunny cushions that I place over the wire so that she doesn't know that the wire is there because you just love wires don't you <laughs> 
The curtains, the blind and the voile are all from blinds to go. I'll see if I can remember what shades they were and like what colours and fabrics and stuff and link them below. But I can't remember off the top of my head. And then there's our little window over there. I've got a huge Sainsbury's candle on there that I showed in one of my recent hauls. It looks so gorgeous at night. It's like I love a three wick candle. It looks so cosy. And then I've just got a little Christmas tree there. I think it was from, I want to say like B&M or somewhere like that. Like really cheap last year. And yeah, that's basically it guys. It's a small room you know but there's just two of us well three of us now and soon to be four of us because we have just reserved another little bunny to be Bonnie's friend haven't we baby you're going to have a new friend Oh, I'm honestly so excited. So I'll be posting about the new bunny when we get her. But yeah, we are soon going to be a little family of four. <laughs> Here's our light as well. It's similar to the one in the hallway, except this one is just like a square one, just fits the room a little bit better. And then I always get questions about the paint as well, but it's literally just what was what came when we bought the new build. It's Super Matte White by Dulux. And then this is our utility room slash laundry room. Lots of you know if you follow me on Instagram or you've been followers of YouTube for a while that this was our garage. So we've got an integral door in the hallway to our garage but we decided we didn't need like a huge garage so we decided to knock part of it off and create this laundry room slash utility room. And it was once a beautiful tidy spacious utility room but now it's a bunny room <laughs> so i do try to keep this looking as much like like a human room like a normal utility slash laundry room as i possibly can as you can see i still got my like decor pieces and everything but at the end of the day this is where the bunnies live i say bunnies like we're getting a new bunny like i just said so two bunnies will be living in here and they need their bunny stuff so with the flooring we actually found the same flooring as the rest of the downstairs on ebay it's antico spacia in sun bleached oak and it's just a really gorgeous neutral color that goes with everything the paint in here i've mentioned before but i'm mention again it's Farrow and Bull Strong White and it still looks a little bit white for this room like with the spotlights so we might change the colour eventually. We got these cabinets fitted as well so I'm not sure where they're from like our builder guy just made them for us but I do know that the colour is super matte grey obviously it's shaker style. The handles are from B&Q and the work top I think it's called Light Oak it's from Howden's and then I've just got it styled up with some little decorative laundry pieces this by the way this is our air purifier for the bunnies we've got our fridge we've got two huge boxes of hay and a dustpan and brush bit of pet owner reality there and then on this side this is our boot room area which i've shown lots on instagram before it's from furniture.co.uk and i absolutely love it the color is so lovely it's like a taupey color but with like a little bit of pinky shades in there as well and i've just got it started with some festive bits and then over this side is just like a little bench area. I've got my vintage prints in there from Lemon Ride Prints, I think it is. My frames are from The Range. This beautiful huge olive tree was from Home Sense. I think it was around £60 and it's absolutely like huge. It nearly reaches the ceiling. Such a bargain. And then we've just got it in a basket company basket. Love that one with the handles. And then I've just got some Hessian in there. Little Ikea dolly bed for Barney with all the teddies on few festive bits as well. I was going to get rid of the litter tray for this video but I thought I'd just include it because this is what it looks like every day so I may as well show you the reality and yeah just got some other little bunny bits. We just picked this up for Bonnie today. Another little jelly cat. This time a gingerbread man. How cute is that? This is actually a cat bed from Pets at Home but Bonnie loves it. She was in this when she arrived at our house. My sister actually got her this. And yeah, she just loves it. This rug was really cheap from Ikea and Bonnie really likes it. She loves jumping around on this, but look what she's done. And she doesn't chew anywhere else except this space. Look at that. <laughs> it's so bad. So I've got this basket with all her toys in that I'm going to try and just keep there. Hopefully she doesn't move it. You naughty bunny. You shouldn't be chewing your rug, should you? <laughs> So yeah, hopefully that stops that chewing. And then I've just got some cute little bunny bits. This is a cloud from Darling Bun Shop. These stars were from Tesco. Little stocking. The stocking and the cushions in the castle are all from Cozy's Castles. Like a bunny, like a bunny and hamster, like 
shop where they sell these castles and like other really cute bits as well. These are from Darling Bun Shop 2. The litter tray is from Amazon. We upgraded to this one because the one we had was quite small and like we was leaking over the side. So we've upgraded to this one. It's actually a cat one again, but yeah perfect for Bonnie and it's a really nice beige shade as well. Bonnie's stocking there waiting for Christmas and then I've got my gorgeous cushion here from Alter Me Home and then just a few cute little bunny bits like Christmas tree bits for Bonnie. This Christmas tree is from Olive and Wood Interiors and then I got a little Bonnie bauble from Cozy's Castle as well. This was gifted to me from one of my friends on Instagram, Home with Caitlin, and she has a little shot on Etsy, which is super cute. It says Bonnie's first Christmas with a little bunny on, I love that. And then just some other cute bits that I thought Bonnie would like. <laughs> so that's basically it for in here, guys. I've shown these before, but this is where our washer and dryer are kept. I just like the fact that they're hidden. And then this is such good storage for like extra wine glasses. All of the stuff in there is just for Bonnie. Our boiler is in there, so it's like hidden. And then just other storage. So it's really good. It's a really good space. I'm so glad we actually converted it from garage to laundry room, utility room. So that's the end of the house tour, everyone. House tour part one. So just the downstairs. I promise that I will do an upstairs version soon just when the time is right but yeah that was the end of house tour part one i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing the house just like a video rather than just like style shots on instagram i always like seeing like a video tour I just feel like you get more of an idea of what the house actually looks like so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching the bunny gate is back up by the way to stop bunny bunny going upstairs so yeah as always i'd love to know what you guys think so leave me a comment down below and a like if you like this video don't forget to check out all the links links that I link in the description box and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!